we're basically ready to roll. Um, doing something a little different today. And uh, for this video, our multitasker in Eden. So, basically, you know, I'm in this uh, Discord channel, right? And, you know, there's times, you know, where I talk to people that have brain cells. There's times where I talk to people that don't have any brain cells. And uh, it's a debating channel, and it's basically a debate lobby uh, created from Six, which... You don't know who Six is. Six is a guy from Naruto. And basically, <clears throat> uh, he's very, pretty close with uh, Swag Kage and Seth. And if you guys don't know who Swag and uh, uh, Seth are, I'll show you who they are. They're pretty big uh, Naruto channels. Um, they, you know, they do all kinds of videos, explanation videos, uh, you know, uh, versus battle videos and so on and so forth, and they have very, very, very good like in-depth knowledge of Naruto itself. They're very, they're pretty, pretty uh, smart when it comes to Naruto. Um, but regardless of that, you know, I wanted to show something that happened to where I was literally like about to lose my shit, and basically in the end, and hearing from him. That I was not wrong and right really went a long way for me, you know, and it made me feel so much better and it pretty much shut everyone up. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna go back and uh, we are going to just scroll through. This thing I say, anyway, uh, now nah, I think Itachi would be stronger than Naruto if he was still alive and fully healthy. Imagine him with a Renegon, Sage Mode, more training, experience, insane Genjutsu. Actually, he'd probably have a godly Genjutsu. Sasuke's ability is only switching places with shit and fire manipulation. And if he had a perfect Susana with his hack weapon, Satoshka Blade, and the Yadamir, along with him uh, more than likely evolving his uh, uh, MS shotting gun to the Renegon, um, you know, he would be a pretty big fucking deal. And. Basically, what the question was is who would be the strongest character out of all Naruto characters, dead or alive, in the Bor Boruto era, okay? So, and it can be anyone, you know, whatever. And basically, this is my pick, Itachi. Someone proved me wrong. Do you disagree? And no one could, you know, or, or better yet, they were just saying so much stupid shit. And basically, in a nutshell, what I was, at least the perspective that i was trying to get across was i absolutely do agree boruto era prime healthy itachi could be able to surpass sasuke and potentially anyone really in naruto i i do strongly believe that but most definitely sasuke at the very least you know and you know and definitely be up there to be able to take on threats like jigen or maybe potentially ishiki and stuff like that you know because of his hack abilities because you know of everything like he's no fucking joke you know, and perfect examples is Kakashi and Sakura. Okay, Kakashi basically, you know, doesn't have any of the shotting guns and literally created purple lightning, is extremely way more faster and more stronger than he is now. You know, there's tons of feats out there to prove it. And he's basically, he's a beast. You know, he's no fucking joke. Okay, he's no slouch. You know, and he was able to immediately defeat a Koji shadow clone, which is the clone of Jiraiya, by the way. Um... And literally was able to one-shot a clone of him. Now, yes, clones are, are, I know they're, you know, pretty significantly, you know, weaker than the original user. But either way, it's still impressive. It's a fucking clone, okay? And as a prime example, Naruto's shadow clone using Sage Mode was able to beat the third Raizakage um, as a reanimation, you know? And yes, I do know reanimation is also nerfed as well. But still, it's, it's still fucking impressive regardless, okay? And literally fucking you know it's just a, it's a it's a big deal feat in my opinion you know because you're talking about a uh, koji who is basically the clone of jiraiya who's even more stronger than you know how jiraiya was in the past can also utilize sage mode has summoning so on and so forth and okay 
was able to beat Jigen. And that's a big fucking deal because Jigen literally bodied and destroyed Naruto and Sasuke. Okay? And if Jigen was able to beat... Not Jigen. Uh, if uh, Koji was able to beat Jigen, you know, with a little bit of prep, you know, and whatnot, and use like... He literally used his sage fire and it fucking, like, is fucking up Jigen or whatever, you know? And then from there, basically, you know, is winning the fight. And... You know, one of the statements he says is, you know, I, I, um, what's it called? I was literally created for one purpose only, and that was to defeat and kill you, okay? And, you know, with all that being said, you know, if Koji defeats Jigen, but Kakashi can defeat a clone of Koji, okay? You know, people are going to tell me that Itachi, prime healthy Itachi, that if he was alive in the Boruto arc era meaning that he has all that experience all that training you know everything combined in one etc and way more stronger than he was from the past sakura is clearly another example you know and a lot of people still disagree with this but i do strongly believe that she could be able to beat madara you know boruto sakura absolutely could be able to beat madara you know and it's just you know characters get to a certain point you know, where there's power brackets, you know, there's, there's power arcs for a reason to where they grow, you know what I mean? No one's talking about kid Sakura, no one's talking about Shippuden Sakura or War Arc Sakura, no, I'm talking about Boruto Sakura, okay? And there are plenty of feats to also support her and, and whatnot of why she beats Madara, you know, and how powerful she is currently, you know? And it's like, it, it's just, it, it truly is baffling, that people can't understand those concepts. That not all characters stay the exact same. They they can and or they do grow. You know? And the fact that everyone really, really thinks that Boruto era Itachi would not be stronger than Sasuke. Or could potentially be enough of a threat and strong enough to fight Ishiki or Jigen. Okay? Which in my opinion currently are, are the most two strongest villains that have so far appeared. You know? Like... Come on. You know what I mean? Like, it's like when Naruto, Naruto was only able to pull the dub because of his transformation that had this insane fucking hack ability. You know, gave him enough speed and strength to, to throw hands. But literally, if Naruto touched him, it was immediately like dead. You know, something along those lines. I don't know, remember the full details because I haven't watched Boruto. haven't been keeping up with it because I'm, I'm not going to get into it. But in my opinion, I'm very disappointed with the fucking show and I think it's trash. Okay? But anyways... You know, was able to beat him because of that, and pretty much kills him, and you know, and you know what happens afterwards. I'm not gonna at least, I'm not gonna spoil that for everyone, because um, everything was fucking spoiled for me because people suck. Okay, and you know that's just that. Okay, imagine Prime Boruto Itachi, with literally way more enhanced speed, power, strength, chakra, control, everything. Okay, he's an extremely fucking intelligent character analyzing situations prepping etc okay and literally is no fucking slouch okay and imagine him developing a perfect susano with his tosca blade that can literally seal and one shot anything with his yada mirror that can literally fucking defend anything practically okay and yes it th that is technically debatable if you want to really get into it but it, i would still strongly say that that it that is possible Okay, because literally it is stated to be able to defend and block all attacks. All right. But anyways, um, you know, he has those two weapons with Perfect Susano. Okay, he has uh, a Madaratsu, you know, the black flames that can pretty much um, burn and incinerate anything unless you have absorbing abilities or fucking, you know, something that allows you to put the flames on something else and not hurt you. You know, you have to have some type of fucking protection that can take the hit from the flames or absorb it. It's the only two ways you can fucking counter it because you literally, you know, there was only certain characters that were fast enough to dodge it. One of them was the Rise of Kage, you know, and then it eventually goes on, so on and so forth. And if you don't have the the, the amount of speed, there's no way you're dodging it, okay? Basically, wherever the, the user looks, it immediately hits there, you know? So he has a Madaratsu, okay? You know what I mean? Then he has Tsukiyomi, okay? So imagine that, you know, a broken-ass fucking Genjutsu that literally controls time itself and causes insane psychological men mental damage, okay, to put people in comas or to make them incapacitated or on the near verge of death, okay? <clears throat> and on top of that, it's fucking Itachi, 
You don't think the motherfucker wouldn't actually take the time to learn or be able to utilize Sage Mode if it, if it came down to it? Prime example, Madara had to use Sage Mode at one point. Where he, li- yes, he, he didn't train to learn it, but he absorbed it and was using it perfectly and controlling it perfectly to where literally it wasn't even con- making him turn into anything. No, no animal, no nothing. He literally just absorbed it from, from Hashirama, you know, and said, oh, hey, hash browns, I'm going to take this from you, by the way. And fucking is using that shit like it, it's, it's a cakewalk, you know, and is blind with no eyes, just alive with sage mode. And he's able to defeat all nine tailed beasts. And Naruto and Sasuke, like they're nothing. Like they're fucking nothing. With Sage Mode. You know, clearly emphasizing that Sage Mode has insane, you know, perception and prognition abilities and so on and so forth. You know, and if it, and, and another uh, really good example is when Sasuke was able to absorb the curse mark from Jugo and utilize that as his own form of Sage Mode to be able to damage the Ten-Tailed Ju- Jubido, Okay. Another point where another Ochiha is utilizing Sage Mode if it needs to come down to it, you know. And one last example, fucking, uh, oh, Aj, I got another one. Minato, okay, never even learned Sage Mode. Naruto had to train his fucking ass off to use it. And this motherfucker immediately activates Sage Mode, a perfect Sage Mode. And wants to fucking say, oh, my Sage Mode isn't perfect, but this will do. It's like, motherfucker, your, yours looks exactly the same as, like, your son. You know, what shit are you on? You know? And the man is literally already using perfect sage mode. So he can be able to fight Jubito with his son. You know, like, you know, it's shit like that where it's like, you can't tell me this motherfucker can't learn sage mode if he, if, if he wants to. Any fucking character can have the potential to learn sage mode. Now, can you debate which one will more than likely be successful doing it? Absolutely. fucking lootly. Okay, but Itachi, absolutely. Absolutely, he could do it. I, I, I have no doubt in my mind that he could not be able to master and utilize Sage Mode as well. So then now imagine an Itachi with Sage Mode with his Sano, you know, more strength and speed and power, even more enhanced, so on and so forth, okay? That's already a big deal right there, okay? And then, if you really, really want to get into it, okay, what's to stop him from fucking figuring out how to get six paths, you know, Chakra? If Kakashi got it at one point, Naruto and Sasuke got it from the fucking god, okay? You know, Madara was able to get it by being becoming the Ten Tails. Shit! Why, why doesn't Itachi just be the Ten Tails, you know, Jinjutaki if he needs to, whatever, you know, fuck it. And, and, and stack Sage Mode on top of that. It's a, you know, while using the Susano, it's a big fucking deal, okay? You know, or better yet, if he also wanted to utilize Karma. Big fucking deal. He has the intelligence and the com- mental capacity to be able to analyze what karma is, understand it, its abilities, its weaknesses, so on and so forth. And better yet, if he wants to use that shit, he can use it him fucking self. He will figure out a motherfucking way to do it. Okay? You know? So it's like, you have all these p- possibilities, all these potentials, and yes, it is potential, it is possibility, but, you know, th- w- I'm not arguing whether, you know, I- if fucking... That's why he's the strongest because he can. I'm not saying he can't. I'm just saying it is possible and he potentially most definitely could be able to, okay? And if he does, which, remind you, having the strong potential to and absolutely possi- possibly being able to do that, you know, he's going to be a pretty big fucking deal, okay? You know, if Sakura and Kakashi and fucking a clone of Jiraiya can fucking do it, you know, I don't want to fucking hear it. They don't have six paths chakra. They don't have fucking karma. They don't have the nine tails. They don't have fucking, you know, the cyborg enhancements, you know, or fucking some shit that just gives them insane hack amps, you know. They don't have any of that shit. It's literally hard work and fucking sweat, okay, to where they're increasing their strength, speed, abilities, and so on and so forth, you know. And if they can fucking do it, Atachi most definitely can too, Okay. And it's, it's as simple as fucking that, you know, and, and, and most importantly, you know, then you got, you know, Atachi, whenever he's fucking around, he's basically just always taking the W, whenever, all the fucking time, okay? And it literally took the writer of Naruto to give him a disease because of how broken and powerful he was making the damn character, okay? 
And then also the, the rider was making him so powerful to where he had to get rid of him during the war arc because guaranteed if he was in the war arc, that would have been a big fucking deal. Okay? You know, like, he's out for a reason. You know? And it's like things like that to where, you know, it's just Atachi, he has the capability, he has the potential, and it, it is not an impossibility. It's not that it can never happen, it is most definitely, and I mean most fucking definitely possible for it to happen. Like, no one's going to tell me that it can't. And, you know, unless you can prove it, you know, whatever, then prove it. But telling you right now, there's no, it's not happening, okay? So I'm going to show you this conversation now of basically retards. What they're saying, my response is, and obviously my reaction with this commentary, Okay. And literally, we're just going to go down. So I come down on my bottom line is, it's Itachi. With his intelligence, prep work, and growth with training and experience, he would be a legend and the best damn uncle too. And this guy's like, facts, okay? I'm like, someone changed my mind. Who do you think uh, beats Prime Boruto Itachi? Okay. I'm going to fucking kill you, Terry. I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. Sorry, I'm my cat and he's just, I don't know. Um, anyways, and so then this guy's like prime Boruto Naruto, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Out of all, like, out of all characters, you got Madara, Obito, Minato, the first Akage, you name it, you're gonna pick Naruto. We already seen him in Boruto, okay, first off, and every fucking fight he practically gets into, he's losing, all right, except for the Delta fight. You know, like, are you kidding me? You know, so look what I say. I'm like, no, with the arrows. And this guy rising is a, is a retard, by the way. Kabuki, a, a million, but far, far fucking worse. Like, definitely along the family tree, but like the great, 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 great fucking, you know, child, grandchild or something. I don't fucking know. All right. And literally, uh, he's like, Atachi just isn't the reincarnation. I'm like... And then literally what I say, if I can go fucking up, I'm like, Naruto will be getting bodied left and right. Um, he's like, he didn't get the buff of Hagirama, meaning six paths. And I was like, was still stronger than Sasuke for a long time. He was like, who was younger than him? I was like, was even stronger than EMS Sasuke being dead. And, and then Rising says and surpassed him mat massively within like a day. And I'm like, and I'm like, yeah. Okay, hang on. Uh, and I'm like, I'm like, no, he didn't until he had Sage of Six Paths. Yes, and he's like, yeah, exactly. That, that that Sasuke still is younger than Itachi when he died, and he does the the dead emo like he's like he fucking knows everything. And I'm like, okay, but imagine Boruto level Sasuke. He could easily surpass him. Okay, and this guy acts like I didn't fucking understand that Six Paths Sasuke with the fucking new Renegon. Okay. What was he was over here thinking that I'm saying that he's not stronger than fucking Edo Tensei Hitachi? Like no fucking shit, he's stronger. You dumbass, you know. And then literally he's like no, and I'm like yes, and he's like Boruto Sasuke is literally over Kaguya. Hitachi could never catch up. I'm like once again Sasuke has been getting destroyed over and over in Boruto while a clone of Jiraiya beat Jigen. Okay, and that's true by the way. And he's like, and? And I'm like, I don't want to hear it. He's like, that just means he, he don't have six paths. And I'm like, Boruto characters are stronger. No, And I'm like, no fucking shit. That's why I'm saying Boruto Prime Itachi. You know? And I'm like, no hacks. I'm like, he literally does. I'm like, nothing. And clearly showing it is still possible to get on their level. Actually, I think I said something else. Oh, yeah, that's why I said. Um, I said he uh, Koji doesn't have six paths. He has no hacks. Clearly showing that it's still possible to get on their level. Meaning like, Us I think you say their name like Ususuki or whatever. You know, the alien clan. You know what I mean? You don't have to have the karma or six paths, you know, or anything alien related to be on par with them. Okay? Because clearly Kashin Ko Koji, okay, can do it, you know? Um, And this father applies. Um, Hang on. 
Okay, and then he's like, he literally does. I'm like, and then clearly showing that still, whatever. And then this guy's like, Koji had major prep time and he beat a severely weakened Jigen. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck if the guy's weaker 1% wise, 2% wise, 10% strength, whatever. Okay, I don't give a fuck about the mathematics, all right? First off, it's fucking Jigen. He made Sasuke and Naruto look like fucking ragdolls, okay? And you know how powerful they are. And with their training and experience as well, and they were still getting shit on in the Boruto era, okay? You know, you're talking about practically the two strongest characters, all right, technically at that time, are just getting ragdolled by Jigen, okay? Oh, poor Jigen that he's a little tired after the fight. Or poor Jigen he's not at his full strength. It's fucking Jigen, bro. Alright, this guy is even more powerful than fucking Kaguya, you know? Like, get the fuck out of here. It is literally Koji, a clone, remind you, of Jiraiya that is still able to be fast enough and react and utilize a broken-ass ability called Sage Fire, okay, that can burn him and fucking whoop his ass, okay? Like, I don't want to fucking hear it, you know? And I'm like, Kakashi is a fucking beast for crying out loud. That's another perspective I put out. And he, and then this guy starts talking, and he's also a model amped, which is like a uh, Jiro from Dragon Ball Buff. And I'm like, exactly, six pass ain't shit, karma ain't shit. Esen he's like essentially like a six pass power up. And he's like, yep, it's. And I'm like, it's basically power ups. And Itachi would get six pass though, and he wouldn't get an, a model amp or whatever. I'm like, but not infinite power ups where they can't be surpassed. And he's like, so he just doesn't beat. Uh, adult Sasuke. I'm like, look at fucking Boruto for God's sake. No Nine Tails or Sage Mode or Six Pass. No Ying Yang. Nothing. And just for Karma, he gets stronger. Okay. And I'm like, only way this happens is if Itachi is that hidden cyborg Amato has. And this guy, so this guy is basically saying it, the only way this happens is if Itachi is a robot now. So apparently, robot Itachi would be stronger than Prime Alive Boruto Itachi. Like, okay. And I'm like, come on, man. Itachi don't need to be a cyborg. In my opinion, that would be worse or weaker. And I and I do agree with that. I do agree that would be worse or weaker. And he's like, androids literally just better than humans. I'm like, no, they're not, you fucking retard. He's like, yes, they are, and laugh my ass off. Okay, and then Father's like, he's literally becoming the strongest race in the verse so far. You know, and then, uh, and I'm like, Naruto beat that one chick. I, I didn't mean to say chicken, I said that one chick. I couldn't remember her name, it was Delta, okay, who's an android. And he's like, Naruto is not. I'm like, no, he's not. I'm like, actually... Like, I don't know why I said no, he's not. I can't remember. But he's like, uh, uh, regular human, he's a reincarnation of a Ushishiki or whatever. I'm like, this ain't Dragon Ball. Laugh my ass off. And a Jujutsuki. I'm like, rising, no. I'm like, Boruto is literally becoming a Ushishiki. Or what, Ushishiki. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but sorry. Um, I'm just going to call it OT. OT genes are mad crazy. What are you talking about? That's what Father says. I'm like, cyborgs are not stronger than ninja. And then Pim Pim, which I've heard of that name before. I think Pim Pim is, has hosted a lot of videos of Six and whatnot, and even Swag, I think. I think I could have sworn I've seen him from YouTube. Um, but anyways, and the Rising's like, Greg, just stop talking. You're literally just wrong. I'm like, they have limitation and weaknesses. You're wrong, you fucking dumbass. He's like, cyborgs are ninja, but with buffs. Laugh my ass off. I'm like, show the proof. He's like, show the proof androids are stronger than humans. You know, and the average ninja. I'm like, you're fucking stupid. That's a clone. Like, he keeps saying Koji is an android, okay? And I'm like, that is a clone. There is a fucking difference, you know? And he says Kawaki is an android. I'm like, he is a clone. You're stupid, you know? There's a difference between a fucking clone and Kaguya. I mean, not Kaguya. Fucking uh, a, a robot, you know? And basically, uh, I went up too much. Um, he's like, is a Kaguya plus, I'm like, not a robot. The average ninja is like building, uh, building plus. And I'm like, clones, not androids. Okay, let me wait here. And then he's like, with a model amp, so I guess cyborg. And I'm like, you're stupid. And the clone is known as a cyborg in the, vo the verse because of not scientific ninja tools. La laugh a lot. I'm like, show it, prove it. Because apparently with, when Snake Boy or Orochimaru does the same, he's creating androids too, right? No, he's fucking creating clones, not androids, you know? And then he shows this scan to prove, like, if it's some essential feat in the fucking debate, okay? Where it literally says, if his detection gets approved, I love 
to have him uh, exert at sk his skills at my laboratory. Wow, so he's one of the, the genius scientists. That's right. I know, but but it would be to Kawaki's benefit too, Doc. And, and not just me, all of Kara's cyborgs are his handiwork. None of this proves that Kawaki and Koji are androids. All this is talking about is Kara, who is an android, okay, and they're trying to see Kawaki train or fight or whatnot to get an idea, you know, to for whatnot for their work that they're going to try to do and, and replicate and see if they can do some modifications on Kawaki as a human, as a clone, okay? This nowhere does this show that they are fucking robots, okay? You know, so it's it's more of an anti feat. You know, and I'm like, no, he made clones, big difference. And he, and then Father's like, Kawaki literally stating it. And I'm like, that doesn't prove anything. And first off, Kawaki didn't state shit. And then I'm like, Kawaki is not a robot. Are you stupid? And he's like, Kawaki is like Jigen's work, though, not Amato. Laugh my ass off. <clears throat> and then even Pin Pin uh, uh, agreed with me. Okay, he was a close friend of six. He's like, that doesn't prove anything about clones being cyborgs. I'm like, exactly. Either way, who get? And he's like, either way, who gives a fuck? And I'm like, are you calling me or the Arthur stupid? Because it's written right there. And he's like, why do clones being cyborgs even matter? Which again, another fucking point. I'm like, and I'm like, because they're entirely different. He's like, his morphing and healing powers is a model's work. And then Ryzen's like, oh, cool. So we can just say. And I'm like, you can make a YouTube video explaining the difference between a fucking clone or robot, you know? And then Rising being a typical retard is saying a model amp is greater anyone without an U Ususuki amp. I'm like, I'm like, no, it's fucking not, but okay. He's like, okay, find someone without any relation to Ususuki that's greater than Delta. And Pimpin's like, Sakura. I'm like, thank you. I'm like, Rising, you're literally saying they're stronger than anyone. And then Father's like, the jump from Jiraiya to Kashikoji is literally insane. I'm like, once again, that proves my point, but and, you know? And I'm like, meaning no matter how much they train, no experience, etc., is irrelevant? That's ignorant, you dumb fuck, you know? And then he, uh, Rising, pulls up the video of what if Sakura fought Delta instead of Naruto, you know? And then Pin Pin's like, laugh my ass off because I'm fucking roasting his shit now, you know? And I'm like, that's Sakura, you know? support and then the guy says support the creator i'm like and then i'm like not sasuke you know I, i'm like no sasuke that's sakura and he's like greg he isn't talking to you and i'm like i'm like not naruto and then rising wants to be dumb again he's like is it suki amped and i'm and then guys like go 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 give him money and then pin pin says you fucking ape and then rising's like idiot and i'm like what's wrong with being a monkey just to be funny and then sasuke he says sasuke is literally the reincarnation of, of isuki and i'm like I didn't even respond to that. I was like, I'm like, this guy is fucking dumb. You know, like, he he's dumb. He is the reincarnation of Ashura and Indra, who are the reincarnation of ha Hagiramo and his brother. Okay? Which they were born from Kaguya. But sure. And I'm like, I like being hairy, so I don't see what the issue is with being a monkey. Okay? And then this guy says, so follows my uh, Amato Ampro, Usuki, Ushisuki or OT related shit is greater than Amato related shit and Amato related shit is greater than everyone else. So I'm like, this guy is fuck. So literally his mindset is he thinks any cyborg is greater than anyone in Boruto unless you have six paths chakra or an alien. So apparently robots are better than Koji, Kakashi, and you name it. You know, it's fucking hilarious. So, you know, apparently robot fucking kid Eno is stronger than anything now. Unless you have six pass amp, you know. And fucking, and then literally uh, I'm like, pimp him, my bad. And I agree with that, true. And then, okay, then therefore Itachi falls uh, within everyone else. And you monkey and whatever. He's like, you concede, end of conversation. I'm like, no. Atachi could be stronger, and I do not fucking concede, you dumb fuck. I'm like, you're saying he can't, you know? And then Payne Court is like, you lost a debate, shut up. So now he's dick riding Rising when he's an, he's another fucking dumbass, okay? And I'm like, no, I didn't. And he's like, he could never in his life catch up to Sasuke, okay? And then, what's it called? And then Payne's saying, prove that. So now he's asking me to prove that I that I did not say um, 
that I lost the fucking debate, you know, or conceded. But anyways, um, and then uh, and then Pimpin's like, who would Itachi be stronger than? And then Gaz is like, proof. And I'm like, never did I say Itachi takes the L to that. And then Rising's like, Kamahamaru, next question. I agree with his scaling of karma, clones, and robots, okay? I'm like, and he's like, and that's what I said I agree with. And he's like, so you're trying to say to me, and I'm like, but Itachi has many ways he can overcome those things, okay? He's like, Itachi Uchiha, son of whatever Uchiha, his father, okay, was a robot the entire time. And I'm like, no, he's definitely a human dumbass, and he can be more stronger, yes. And he quotes me more stronger, like if that means anything. And I'm like, just how Kakashi did, Sakura, and etc. It's definitely fucking possible. Humans can surpass fucking robots, okay? It is written, you know? And then he's like, neither one of them can beat six past people. I'm like, and if you can't understand that, then I'm like, if you can't understand that, then you're fucking stupid, you know? Once again, Madara has the six paths, okay, because of the ten tails, you know, a beast inside of him. And Sakura can beat her, beat him, no issue, okay? She was able to damage Kaguya, but, but yeah, no, but no one can beat alien power, you know? It's just, it's just not possible, you know? It's absolutely not possible. And then Pim Pim's like, sure, Itachi could become stronger, but at his current peak in the manga, he isn't. I'm like, no fucking shit, Sherlock. Like, you're telling me something I already know. Don't don't belittle me, you know, you know, acting like I don't know nothing here. You should be fucking bullying Rising. Don't, you know, don't come at me, you know. And and then Pim Pim's like, I don't know what your argument is to Rising. And then Koji, I'm like, Koji did, and he's a fucking clone. And he's like, oh, fuck, I hate when I go too far down. And then Ko he's uh, my Koji did. He's a clone. He's like Koji is amped, a model amped. I'm like Kakashi is stronger than him. And then Pippin's like how? And I'm like, do I really have to fucking prove that Kakashi is stronger? I'm like, all right, let's let's prove Kakashi is stronger than fucking Koji now, you know? And then Father's like Kakashi got the best hacks in the verse, and Sakura is the main character. Basically, he's adding and agreeing with what I'm saying so far. Okay, and I'm like, at least I think, you know, because at first I, I question myself. Cause I like, wait a minute, I don't want to, you know. I, the thing with me is I don't know absolutely everything of Boruto because I'm trying to not know everything of Boruto because I want to actually enjoy when I watch the fucking anime. I already know I'm going to be disappointed and hate it most of the time, but, you know, the, the big deal things, I don't really want to spoil, okay? It'd be nice to see it, you know? So, and, and that's why I said, at least I think, you know, I might have to do more homework, but yes, I do believe Kakashi is stronger than Koji, you know? And I will prove it with at least a scan that I am familiar with because they did fight at one point, Okay. And then Pim Pim, which reminds you, is a close uh, friend to Six. Now he's getting on me, and he's like, how is Kakashi stronger than Koji? Okay, and then uh, Pain Core does the Ugana Knuckles to me. Okay, so now I'm Ugana Knuckles. I will show you, Dewey. Okay, you know? And then Pim Pim's like, please enlighten me, Greg. And I'm like, actually, I got to do more homework on that. Kakashi, and then Rising's like, Kakashi is just not stronger than Koji. I'm like, but I do believe Kakashi beats Koji. And then Pim Pim's like, why? Please. And then Rising's like, also, let's say he does. And then uh, then Big Flash Monkey gets into this, okay? He's like, Kakashi isn't even in the manga, bro. And I'm like, okay, when did I limit myself to the fucking manga? I don't give a fuck if he's not in the manga. He's in the anime, okay? It's not my fault, okay? Some stupid writer doesn't want to put Kakashi in the manga, but he'll put him in the anime, okay? I don't give a fuck. He's in the anime. So guess what? He's in Boruto. You can suck my dick, okay? You know? And then literally... Uh, I say, okay, then why did he use a shadow clone on him uh, instead of just killing him? Like, if if Kakashi was that much inferior to Koji, okay, why did he just use a fucking shadow clone, you know? Shit, that's one of Kakashi's most favorite fucking things to do is to use a shadow clone with whoever he's fucking fighting to analyze and gain, you know, an analysis and, and proposition of what the person is capable of. You know, their power, speed, abilities, etc., you know? So what to do that, that Choji is using a shadow clone to kind of get the same, you know, analysis and info on Kakashi to see what he's capable of. You know what I mean? But if he was actually fully that much stronger than him and could beat him in a fight, he should have just approached him with a shadow clone and then fought him as the real guy. Like Kakashi has done to anyone that he thought he was capable of beating and fighting. You know, it doesn't make any sense for you to back off a fight or kill someone if you're not stronger than them. That doesn't make any fucking sense, you know? 
And, and that's why I come out with, and he's like, how does that make Itachi stronger than adult Sasuke? Oh, wait, it doesn't. You know, so Rising being a retard, once a fucking end, because he just doesn't understand English. You know, I got other people agreeing with me, and even Pim Pim, but this motherfucker is stupid, you know? And Pim Pim, uh, when he tell me, why doesn't he kill everyone if he's that much stronger? Please let me know. You know, like, if you're, if you're saying this guy is so fucking strong, then why does he not kill everyone except for Sasuke and Naruto? You know? Like, let, please, tell me. You know, and then Father comes out and he's like, Koji, because they were trying to kill Leaf people of, and they were going to ally with them or whatever. I'm like, so he could gauge his strength like other enemies. And that's what Pim Pim said. And I'm like, okay, and Kakashi does that all the fucking time too. Yet, did he back off the fight with Pain? Did he back off the fight with Hidden and Kakuzu? Did he back off the fight with everyone else that he used a fucking Shadow Clone against? No. No. He's being a fucking smart, intelligent person, okay, and using a shadow clone. So if he does get killed, he learns from it and, and, and learns what the character can do, okay? You know, and, and then Pain Cord wants to be a fucking troll and Dick Ride Rising, okay, probably his boyfriend or something, you know, and is sending fucking memes at me like I'm retarded. And then I'm like, Rising, I'm tired of explaining to your fucking small brain. And the father was like, weren't. And I'm like, and he's like, my brain is literally bigger than yours ever will be. And then Big Flash Monkey is like, what's the topic? I'm like, yes, yours. And I'm like, you fucking wish. And, the si and he's like, the size of your entire head. I'm like, you're a fucking dumbass. And, and then Pin Pin's like, also, he never appeared in the manga, so I don't even know if Kakashi fought Jigen. You know? And I'm like, once again, I don't give a fuck about the manga. I, I, when did I say I'm limiting myself to the manga? Okay? So what? All because something happened in a video game, but it never happened in the manga or the show means it's it's irrelevant and it, it doesn't exist or it's not possible? Like, that, that, no, you know, that don't mean shit, okay? And I'm like, okay, but that fight shows Kaka Kakashi blitz him easily. L-M-A-O, you know? And then Ryzen, like, Greg, you've literally not pushed a single point through. Clearly to this fucking dumbass, Okay. And then God's is like, nah, his brain is the size of my left nutsack, okay? So I don't know if he was either roasting me or rising, but whatever. And then Pip Pim's like, what fight? And I'm like, Kakashi isn't in the, the um, oh, that big flash uh, tags me. He's like, Kakashi isn't in the Boruto manga. When did I say he's in the Boruto? Like, like, I'm literally up to just pulling my hair at this fucking point. Because people just cannot read fucking English, you know? And then, and then Rising's like, and I've dro dropped like five random ass arguments, okay? And then, uh, and then I come out, I'm like, I know, he's a shadow clone. And he's like, did Jigen fight Kakashi in the anime or something? Pippin says, because he's on the same boat as me, really, when it comes to Boruto. So I get, I get it, you know? And Big Flash Monkey's like, he's literally not there. And I'm like, and then Rising's like, that anyone with half a peanut for a brain could be, could have debunked. And so literally he's talking more shit to me. I'm like, okay, that's not my fault. And never did I limit myself to the manga for the millionth fucking time. Okay, and Rising like, Rising's like, so it's about time. And then little I'm like, that is the only time it's been shown. And then Rising's like, you just leave and pretend we left the debate unended. I'm like, you can suck my fucking dick. Okay, I'm like, no. And then I'm like, and Kakashi wins. And then Rising's like, and that could have gone either way because if you keep going. And then Pimpin's like, okay, I don't give a fuck about the Boruto anime. You know, and, and I'm like, all right, I don't blame you. And then Rising's like, you're going to keep looking like an internet. I'm like, Rising, shut the fuck up, Kabuki 2.0, okay? And then Big Flash Monkey uh, says, Kakashi never fought Jigen, okay? When did I say Kakashi fought fucking Jigen? But okay. And then Rising's like, this man called me Kabuki. I'm like, yeah, because you're acting fucking like it, you know? And then, and then I'm like, but he fought Koji, and Koji fought Jigen. And if Kakashi's stronger than Koji, and Koji's stronger than Jigen... Do do the fucking you know thinking, okay? And then paying court dick riding once again coming at me with memes that saying I'm retarded basically. And then I'm like paying you're not funny leave, okay? You're just trolling. And then big flash monkey is like didn't Jigen literally body Koji, okay? And I'm like no. Like are you stupid? There's there's the anime for a reason, okay? You know or or, or the, there's the manga, okay? Look it up, you know. And then Pimpin's like, okay, Greg, what you're saying is that Kakashi fought Koji in the anime. And I'm like, yes, for the millionth fucking time. Yes. And then Payne replies to me, he's like, no, you leave. I'm like, bitch, shut up. I'm like, suck my dick. Okay. 
And then eighth way, who's another fucking retard. I don't even want to talk about him. I was dealing with him the whole day yesterday. Okay. He's like rising coming for you. Like if rising is somehow fucking, you know, this, this most intelligent Lord and Savior swag kage sixer set the program level debater. Okay. And I'm like, eighth, you love fucking men. Shut the fuck up and, and get out of here. Don't even start with your shit. You know, and then Pim Pim's like, and Koji fought a severely weakened Jigen. Okay. And I'm like, that doesn't matter. That's irrelevant. It, it doesn't matter. Okay. He's still six past level and fucking shit on Boruto, Era, Naruto, and Sasuke. The most powerful, strongest version there could possibly be of Sasuke and Naruto. Okay. So I don't give a fuck. Okay. If he was that much more powerful than Naruto and Sasuke, he should have easily easily regardless if he's weakened or whatever been able to kill him it was nowhere near an orochimaru nerf where he can't you know what i mean where his arms are useless and he can't use no fucking jutsu the motherfucker could still use jutsu the motherfucker still had access to practically almost infinite amount of chakra okay can use karma still okay as a matter of fact i actually think he uses karma in that fight too he does get serious because he doesn't underestimate him you know so if he was that much fucking stronger than koji why would he activate his karma you know, or better yet, why was Koji able to react and use sage fire and be able to damage him and paralyze him? And then afterwards, Koji says, I was literally created to kill you and to beat you. I know what my destiny is, and that is why I am here. OK, like it, it, it doesn't get any more fucking simple than that. OK. So once again, if Kakashi beats Choji and Choji can beat Jigen, there is nothing rocket science about that. You should know the solution, okay? So I'm like, yes, Kakashi is better than fucking Choji, okay? Suck my dick, you know? And, and then I'm like, Pim Pim's the only normal person here. All you other people are fucking speds, okay? And then Pim Pim's like, that scale's nowhere. And I'm like, bro, you know, and then I tell him again, and then guys like my brain cells trying to live right now. I'm like, sure, I get that, but still won. I'm like, it doesn't matter if he was wicked. He still won. He beat Jigen. That's a big fucking deal. Okay. You know, and then uh, pain cords like perfect timing. And then big flash tags me is like Kakashi swiped his kunai one time and Koji's clone disappeared. I'm like, yes, I know he beat him. Thank you. You know. And then Pimpin's like acting like it never fucking existed. He's like, can someone show me Koji winning in the anime? Oh, he meant Kakashi. Uh, Kakashi winning in the anime or manga because I don't remember shit about those chapters. You know? And Big Flash is like, Koji didn't even try to dodge. He purposely let Kakashi hit him in order to show Kakashi the scroll. Okay? I'm like, um, no. Kakashi blitzed him and killed him immediately with purple lightning. The, he literally had the scroll in his pants, okay? And saying, hey, dumb bitch, are you looking for this? You know, I'm very intrigued to why you're trying to learn all the secrets and everything about the history of ninja and whatnot in the war. OK, when literally you can just ask me yourself, you know, so he's kind of, you know, fucking flexing on Koji, you know. But once again, if Kakashi is that much weaker and inferior to Koji, he wouldn't have the balls to fucking stand up to the fucking guy and talk shit, you know, and be like, hey, the scroll's right here. If you want to come and fucking get it, you know, and then Koji's just looking at him with a serious face, trying to think what he's going to do. And Kakashi's like, doesn't fuck him. He doesn't even hesitate. He, he don't underestimate him, don't play, no nothing. Immediate purple lightning activization and blitz and kills him. But this guy wants to say, oh, he didn't even try to dodge. He purposely let Kakashi hit him in order to show him the score. Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. You're right. Yep. And I'm like, he uses fire on him, Pippin. And that was when... uh. I was referring to Pippin uh, when he was saying uh, how, like, Choji even defeated G Jigen. And then he's like, win. Show me win. And I'm like, stronger than Black Flames. And he's like, I don't remember the fight. And then Father's like, Koji was not fight Kakashi even remotely seriously. I'm like, sure, you're right. You know, you're right. Because, you know, he was literally there to take all the scrolls and get all the knowledge for his, his own reasoning. But sure, you know, you're, you're right. He didn't take the Kakashi seriously. And he wasn't taking anything else seriously while he was there trying to steal fucking classified intel from the Hidden Leaf Village. But you're right, you know. And then Rising's like, anyways, let's say, I'm like, here we fucking go. 
you know, and I'm like, let me see if I can find it, you know, so I'm like, all right, let me get the scan for you, whatever. And then Ryzen's like, Kakashi is like, and then Pippin's like, please get the scan. And then Big Flash Monkey responds, he's like, Kakashi just swipes his kunai one time and, Ko and Ko Koji's clone purposely gets hit so that it can show Kakashi a scroll about the uh, Ushisuki or whatever. Once again, he's being stupid, whatever. You know, and the Rising's like strong and stuff, you know, so he's like sending it his messages one by one, trying to be a smart ass, like I'm, I'm that fucking stupid. Um, and then I'm like, I saw it somewhere. And then Father's like, no, they're just sage flames. I'm like, thank you, that's what it's called. Uh, and then Big Flash Monkey's like, it scales nowhere. I gotta let this load. I'm like, that's it, Father, thank you. And then Rising's like, how does that make Itachi greater than adult Sasuke? I'm like, I swear to fucking God. Like, it, it's like talking to a brick wall to this fucking guy, you know? And literally, Sage Flames, and then Pippin's like, is this true? You know? And and then Mono Ishiki, whoever this is, a new person joins, and he's like, is that the argument? You know? And then I'm like, let me get the feet. Then Pain Court sends me more memes trying to dick ride and, you know, trying to be annoying and troll. And then Father's like, yes, Jigen could have absorbed them since they weren't chakra-based. Okay? So you're talking about an attack called Sage Flames that's not chakra-based and can hurt Jigen and paralyze him. What the fuck even is that? You know? You know, so, so what? Is Sage moves, you know, no longer consist chakra now or something? Like, that's some whole other level fucking jutsu, you know? But anyways, um, it, that that's just supporting me even more. And then Rising, he's saying he's trying to argue with me on if Itachi lived, he'd be stronger than adult Sasuke. He's losing. And then Mono uh, he's like, nigga, where the fuck is he getting six pass power from? So now this guy's talking shit to me, you know, and he's a, 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 a retard and thinks... Now every fucking character, like all these other dumb, stupid people, need six pass power in order to compete with six pass power. When it is literally shown multiple fucking times that there are regular human ninjas with no amps at all that can get to those levels. The five Kage were able to do it. Sakura was able to do it. Kakashi is able to fucking do it. But sure, you're right. You know. So I got another retard, and then Rising's like exactly, okay. Adding more to my brain cells, just slowly but surely dissolving one by one, okay? And then Big Flash Monkey's like, even if you said Kakashi is greater than Koji and Koji is greater than Jigen, okay? Um, and then Ryzen's like, took Mono. And then I show, the, I show the feats. I show Koji using the Sage Fire against Jigen. And then I show a Jigen. Look at Jigen's face. Look at his fucking face. Nothing, uh, nowhere near as much as I know about Naruto and you know, a watched all of Naruto and doesn't know shit about Boruto, but yet her not even having knowledge would even agree with what this is fucking showing, clearly, you know? And then Big Flash Monkey is like, how does that scale to Itachi? And then Ryzen's like, all the five seconds to understand this. And then Monoshiki is good point bringing up Sakura, though. And Ryzen's like, and Greg. And then Father's like, literally what we've been trying to say, you know? And Ryzen like, hasn't. And then Rising's like, after I explained it to him 50 times, you know, so he's talking more shit. I've explained to this motherfucker a million times, okay, how stupid and wrong he is. And then Pippin's like, did this do anything to Jigen? You know, look at his fucking face from that picture. It looks pretty fucking painful to me, okay? You know, and then and then I'm like, how does Kakashi be, oh, Big Flash is just like, how does Kakashi be in related to Koji's skill Itachi at all? So they keep coming at me like, how does this relate to Tachi? How does this scale to him? Whatever, blah, blah, blah. When I've said it over and over and over and over and over. And then Pippin's like, also show me Kakashi fighting Koji, you know? And then and then uh, Muno Ishiki is like, like Sakura isn't even the best outlier since her entire jutsu is a DBZ power-up for punchies, okay? And then Rising's like, Kakashi's just greater than Itachi anyways. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's why the show definitely emphasized that he was greater. You're right. absolutely, fucking lutely you know? And then Father was like, they were talking about what if Itachi was a motto amp. I'm like, no, 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 no. It was not what I said. Don't put fucking words in my mouth, you know? And then Big Flash, I, I tag him. like, what it shows is that it's possible for normal human ninja to get to those levels of power. And then Big Flash is like, okay, but like, and I'm like, Akashi is normal. 
And he's like, how does that apply to Itachi? And I'm like, and then Rising's quoting me like, I'm dumb. He's like, Akashi is normal. And then a big flash is like, Kakashi would kick Itachi's ass. Okay, I'm like, okay, sure. Now Kakashi's stronger than... So now if we had a prime Kakashi versus a prime Itachi, Kakashi somehow takes a dub. But sure, you're right, sure. And then uh, then I'm like, because he's human, okay? And then big flash monkey is like, really badly. And I'm like, can you read? And JW just has a face. And then Rising like, there's like, and I'm like, Kakashi and Itachi are both human ninja. Okay, I meaning they both have the same capability and potential to rise in power over time in a time skip and then and then being in the Boruto era. Okay, yes, Atachi can do it too. If Kakashi can, Atachi can do it too, which is why it relates to Atachi. Okay, and then Rising's like three tiers, and I'm like, not a clone or a robot. Okay, just a normal fucking guy. And then Rising's like between Ishiki and Kakashi. And then Pain's being stupid once again. And then Rising is like, and one tier between Sasuke and Ishiki. Gotta let this load. And then he tags me again. He's like, Kid Sakura is human just like my guy. Therefore, Kid Sakura is greater than my guy using your logic. I'm like, oh my fucking God, bro. I'm like, that is not what I'm saying. I'm like, no, you dumbass. And he's like, so adult Tachi is just not greater than, um, is just not greater than adult Sasuke. And I'm like, you're saying that. Okay. And then Father's like, I don't know, I'd say probably too. He's like, Greg, you're arguing that Itachi could become as strong as Sasuke, correct? And and then and I'm literally like, don't put words in my mouth. And he's like, I'm using your logic. I'm like, no, you're not. You, you know, you're literally stating that I am stating that Kid Sakura has, is, is a, has the same power as adult guy, so she's just as strong or stronger. I'm like, no, ne- never did I fucking say that, you know? And then Pain is like, leave already. And then Pimp, I'm like, yes. I'm like, yes, that is what I'm saying. Yes, 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 yes. I'm like, thank you. Thank you to someone that has fucking brain cells. You know? I'm like, just how Sakura and Kakashi could, he definitely could too. And he's like, okay, why is everyone arguing then? Sure, he could become just as strong. I'm like, thank you. Fucking thank you. But it gets even better than this. It it gets even better, okay? And then Rising's like, conclusion, adult Sas- Tachi would never surpass adult Sasuke. End of story, end of argument. I'm like, this guy is just fucking mental. Like, he, he just, like, Six, Seth, Swag, and Pim Pim could all agree that this is the case and he would still argue against it. Kabuki, a million, okay? It, it, it's a, a very contagious genetic. Um, and then Big Flash is like, just because it's hypothet- hypothetically possible for Itachi to be this strong if he was still alive doesn't mean he actually scales there. You just contradicted yourself. So you're saying all because it is possible to be this strong if he was still alive doesn't mean he actually scaled... What? What? Yes, it would mean he scales there. It would. What are you talking about? You know? And then Rising's like, that's all, folks. And then Father's like, since Baron Mode is greater than Ashiki, and Ashiki's greater than Jigen, and, and Jigen is greater than Naruto and Sasuke. And then Rising says, see you next week. And I'm like, they don't have no... I'm like, they don't have no six paths, sage mode, karma, robotics, clone shit, anything at all, yet they can climb just fine. Okay? I'm like, imagine with sage mode, karma, and etc. Definitely poss- possibly. And he's like, Sakura and Kakashi literally would evaporate with a single look from I- I- Ishiki. Never did I fucking say Kakashi could be fucking Ishiki, but sure, okay? And then, and then this guy, and this person's like, Sage Mode Itachi, question mark, question mark, question mark. And Father's like, Sakura is literally a main character. Kakashi's getting washed by Ishiki. Once again, I don't know where they're getting this fucking guy from. I'm like, if Madara could do it, then yes. You know? And uh, Rising is like, Itachi doesn't have the chakra quantity to learn Sage Mode. Uh, you don't need a certain amount of chakra to learn fucking sage mode. What are you talking about? There's multiple, multiple times in Naruto where it shows you do not need a certain chakra level to utilize sage mode. Okay, the only thing that chakra does have an effect with is if you have more chakra than your sage, you could argue that the sage mode could be even more powerful. Okay. But it doesn't mean you can't use Sage Mode. What the fuck does that even mean? Like, this guy rising is stupid, you know? 
And then Monoshiki's like, Madara stole Sage Mode, man. I'm like, no fucking shit, Sherlock. And I'm like, he literally, and then she's like, Monoshiki, uh, she's like, he literally trained for it. You know, and then I'm like, Minato's just like the most talented person to ever live, maybe. And I'm like, okay, and one way. And then Mishiki's like, at Mount Mook, you know, whatever. Tell me shit I already know, you know. And Bless Fat, Big Flash Monkey is like, if you're just trying to say that Itachi maybe could be that strong or whatever, then sure. I'm like, thank you. Someone finally admitting it, not trying to, you know, argue with me about this shit, you know. Um, and I'm like, there's many ways to acquire Sage Mode, okay. And then Big Flash is like, but if you're actually trying to scale him to that level, then no. I'm like, this fucking guy, you know. And I'm like, and then Pimpin's like, there's two known ways. Stealing it or learning it are the only ways. And he's like, stealing it or training for it. Big Flash Monkey's like, he's ass compared to Burl to Era. Era. And he's even, and even if he's not relevant to Amato's AMP characters. I'm like, okay, sure. Tachi can't beat androids now. I know. Okay. Um, and then... And then I'm like, that's impressive too because Sage Mode could turn you into a frog or have negative, uh, severe consequences if you can't even control it properly. And Madara literally absorbs it from Hash Browns, okay, Hashirama, the first Okage, and uses that shit like, he, like he, he's been using it, you know, day one, while he's blind, okay? And then Monoshigi is like, or becoming Ten Tails, you know? And then Rising is like, Itachi would just fail because he doesn't have the chakra. I'm like, you're fucking dumb. I'm like, yes, and not just anyone... Uh, and then she's like, yes, and not just anyone can become a sage. There's even a chakra. I'm like, there's no fucking chakra requirement for sage mode. When was that ever said or established? When? Like, I just, I don't understand people, bro. So apparently Jugo shouldn't be able to use the curse mark because he doesn't have enough chakra. Like, I just, I don't fucking get people, bro. I really don't, you know? And then father's like having uh an or having a roach model literally write it into your genes, but I guess that's stealing it. Once again, stealing it or training for it. And then and then I'm and then he's like, Atachi's really dying from a disease and can barely see. He's not learning to say I'm like, when did I say we're using sick Atachi? You know, but okay. Cause once again they can't read. I'm like, yes, they can. You know? It's called training. And then he's like, Sageman has a minimum chakra amount requirement. I'm like, and then I, I even bring up another thing. I'm like, if Minato can, Itachi could too. You know, he's like, Minato trained you fucking monkey. So he's calling me a monkey again. And I'm like, he did? And to be honest, that, that's a little bit fishy for me because I don't remember at all. Like, I would have to search in Naruto just to be 100% sure. But I don't ever, ever remember Naruto emphasizing that Minato learned Sage Mode. Okay, it showed that Jiraiya knew Sage Mode, but his was incomplete and was not perfect like Naruto. And yes, there was a point where the, the Toad Sage was literally referencing and comparing Naruto to Minato and Jiraiya, saying that he surpassed his pre predecessors. But that's actually a false statement, and he did not pr uh, uh, surpass Minato. He was not stronger than Minato. Absolutely fucking not at that point. Okay, he was only saying that because he's literally saying like naruto has mastered the rising shuriken something minato couldn't do naruto perfected sage mode something jiraiya couldn't do he surpassed him in those type of ways not in like completely you know so that's irrelevant and that you know and you can't say oh that's why minato knows sage mode like no never 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 did it show minato trained for sage mode okay and if minato loved sage mode that much or needed it Okay, or better yet, really knew Sage Mode like that, or trained for it, he would have utilized it in the fucking, uh, uh, he would have utilized it during the war, he would have utilized it when he fought Obito, he would have utilized it so many fucking times, because why not, you know? Like, if Naruto can think of the idea of using Shadow Clones to get nature energy, why wouldn't fucking Minato not do that, you know? Like, come on, you know? Minato is tremendously more intelligent than fucking Naruto. Regardless, Minato is always known for his flying Raijin, you know, or his teleportation, his sealing abilities, you know, his sealing stamps to where he can immediately teleport to you. All that type of shit. The Rising Gun, you know, creating that jutsu. That was what he was known for, not for utilizing Sage Mode. Jiraiya was known for utilizing or knowing Sage Mode, but not Minato, okay? He was just known to be the fastest fucking ninja alive. So with all that being said, 
if Minato during the fucking war arc during fighting against Jubito, the Ten Tails Jinjutiki, okay, immediately used perfect stage mode. Immediately. And with no training. And the reason why I'm going to say no training because never, never did Naruto say that he trained or showed that he trained. So to me, he didn't train and he just uses that shit like, no, like, you know, nothing. Which is a very, very fucking impressive feat. And you can say that that is an extremely impressive intellectual feat. Meaning that he was so intelligent right there and then seeing Naruto use Sage Mode and everything, he was like, let me use Sage Mode as well because apparently that's the only thing that can hurt Obito as the Ten Tails. If Minato can fucking do it, pretty sure fucking Itachi would utilize Sage Mode if he needed to, whether if he needed the power or to hurt someone, you know? Like, I just, I don't understand people. And then I'm like, he did? Because I was like, eh, I don't know about that. And then Munishika's like, yes, he did, that's why. And then, and she was like, Pa knew him. Like, all because Pa knew him doesn't mean he trained under him, okay? Pa knew him because Pa trained Jiraiya and, and Jiraiya was training Minato, okay? So Minato probably knew what Sage Mode was and so on and so forth, but doesn't mean he trained to perfect Sage Mode, okay? And then I'm like, and then I'm like, show it, okay? I don't remember that. And Pain Court is being stupid, showing something. And then Pippin's like, yes, he did. He would, uh, he, how would Paul compare Naruto to Minato? I'm like, that is, I already explained why that's, that. I already debunked that. I'm like, that's anti fear that, that doesn't mean anything. Showing him and Minato and Jiraiya behind him, that does not fucking mean anything, okay? And then father, and then father's like, Minato went to Mount Mi Mikabuku. I'm like, once again, I don't remember that. But once again, even if he did, that could have just been him being there with Jiraiya. That could have just been him being there, you know, for some other purposes. Doesn't mean he was specifically training to perfect Sage Mode, okay? And then she's like, it doesn't show the training, but F Fusuki knows or whatever knows him from training him. And I'm and I'm like, true, he knows him. And then he's like, and Minato's bad at it. I'm like, I don't know, that's tricky, Pim Pim. And Ryzen's like, Itachi don't don't have the body or the chakra to use Sage Mode. Being a retard once again, okay? And then she's like, motherfucker can't maintain Sage Mode for more than one attack. So much hate. And then I'm like, hard to say he did when they never emphasized on that. And then he shows this once again like this means anything. And if you look at this feat, okay? If you really, really look at this feat. Okay, all it says is Naruto, you just sit back, I mean, uh, oh, since Sinai says Naruto, and then she's like, you just, and Naruto's like, you just sit back and sip some tea, granny, there's no need for Konoha's Akagi to bother herself with the likes of them, and, uh, and then Gramps, doesn't he remind you of the two, and she's like, Naruto, you, and he's like, it's incredible, he took one of the pains down with a single taijutsu blow, she's like, what's going on, I can't see from here, where does that indicate that Minato mastered Sage Mode or perfected it or trained for it? All it's showing, this, all this could mean, like I said, is that it can indicate to Naruto getting to their levels of power uh, in certain degrees, you know, or Naruto surpassing them in certain aspects. Because once again, they're both fucking dead, okay? And two, you know, Naruto made the Rising Shuriken, which is something Minato couldn't figure out. Probably could have figured it out in time because he is more intelligent. Um, but regardless, he couldn't and he died. So there's no way to even know. And two, Jiraiya couldn't perfect Sage Mode. He only, uh, he had an incomplete version of it. And yet that mode was still pretty broken. So yeah, you could say he definitely surpassed him in those certain aspects. But not completely or over fucking all. You know, like get the fuck out of here, you know. So th that's why that scan, in my opinion, doesn't really mean anything, you know? And I'm like, no, like that's, you know, it, no. And then, um, and then I'm like, plus he wasn't known for using Sage Mode. He was known for being fast. And she's like, it's because he sucks at it, you know? And he only activated it during the Ten Tails fight. And then Big Flash Monkey is like, the entire time during the Sage Mode training, they are hyping up Naruto surpassing Minato and Jiraiya. It was heavily emphasized. I'm like, no, it fucking wasn't. That has nothing to do with him training for Sage Mode. They're just comparing him to his dad and Jiraiya because he's getting more powerful and stronger. You know? 
And then Minotaur's like, Minotaur never needed to use it. That's what Pippin said. I'm like, bull fucking shit. Like, bull fucking shit. Okay, what about the Nine Tails? Okay. What? We're going to forget that when he's fighting the Nine Tails? Why didn't, why didn't he just use Sage Mode, you know, do a couple big boy attacks and get him away from the village, you know, whatever? Shit, Naruto fucking did a million Shadow Clones with a massive uh, Sage Art Rising Gun Barrage. Millions of them hitting his fucking face, damaging him. Threw a, a fucking Sage Art Rising Shuriken at him and damaged him. Like, what the what the fuck do you mean there wasn't a point he didn't have to use it? Okay? Like, come on, you know? Or better yet, fighting against Obito, fighting against the Nine Tails. You know, like, get the fuck out of here. Fighting against the Rise of Kage, if need be. Like, no, don't, don't fucking tell me that, you know? And I'm like, um, no, he had a perfect Sage Mode, just like Naruto. And she's like, and? I'm like, and Naruto trained his ass off. And she's like, he sucked at using it. I'm like... I'm like, no, he didn't, you know, and she's, and he's like, nah, it just took a while for him to charge it up, I'm like, thank you, Solo, and I'm like, also, EMS Sasuke use, uses Sage Mode too from Jugo, and Pim is like, no, he doesn't, I'm like, what the fuck, I'm like, Pim Pim, come on, bro, like, why am I educating you out of all people right now, you know, and Big Flash Monkey is like, he gets a nature energy amp, not Sage Mode, it's the same fucking shit, you know, well, because it's not deliberately called Sage Mode. Yes, it's called the Curse Mark or whatever. But it originated from Jugo to begin with. And Orochimaru started experimenting from Jugo to implicate and replicate his own version of Sage Mode. So boo fucking who? You know? And then Payne's like tagging me. And I'm like, and Ryzen's like, it's not. And then he and he's like, he's amped by nature. He doesn't gather it, nor does he know how. I'm like, from Jugo. And he's like, Curse Mark is off-brand Sage Mode. And then I'm like, and then Pim is like, the curse mark is modeled after Sage Mode. They're not the same thing. I'm like, okay, sure, you know, fucking sure. And I'm like, I know that Pim Pim, but it's just an example that there are many ways to acquire Sage Mode, you know. And he's like, there are three. I'm like, it, it's not impossible for Itachi to do it. And he's like, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I think he's saying Jugo or no curse mark or whatever. Um, it gives nature energy, but not the abilities that come with Sage Mode. I'm like. That doesn't make any fucking sense. So it, it's natural energy, yet it doesn't have abilities of Sage Mode. Yet he could hurt Ju, Ju, the Ten Tail Jubido because of it. Okay, sure. And then Big Flash Money is like it's similar to Sage Mode, but it's not actually Sage Mode. Like once again, no one is saying it's deliberately called Sage Mode. You know, I'm saying that it is. It's another version of it, and it replicates just the same way. You could argue which one is more stronger, the Curse Mark or actual Sage Mode. You know, and I would say actual Sage Mode then. You know, but it's the same fucking shit, you know? And I'm like, and he's more than capable of pulling off perfect sage transformation if required. Okay, and then all I'm saying is Sasuke did that so he could potentially damage, Ju uh, that he could potentially damage Jubido, the Tentails. And he's like, he's like, what does that have to do with Itachi be uh, being Jigen's level, though? You know, and then Pim is like, does the arrows? I'm like, and it clearly says to Naruto, don't compare me to you, clearly meaning I can do Sage Mode too, bitch. And Pim is like, no, it doesn't. And then Big Flash is like, no, it's Sasuke being a prick. Which is true, he's not wrong about that. And Anthony's like, which version of Sasuke? I'm like, true, laugh, laugh, laugh. And then Father's like, bro, no, question mark, question mark, question mark. And then Big Flash's like, he's talking about EMS. And then I'm like, it relates to Itachi because he's very intelligent. And with prep, he could pull off a dub, training, etc. And he's like, this debate is so fucking stupid. It's all a possibility. I'm like, not really. And, and that, yes. You know what I mean? And I said not really to the debate. And I'm like, the possibility, yes. And then he's like, Jigen would flex the strong reserves and Tachi would die due to the mental shock of feeling so po uh, so powerless in an instant. It's not fair at all. I'm like, yeah, sure. That that's why uh, Kaguya had so much more fucking chakra, and she was sh and Sakura was shitting her pants. Yet she still fucking uh, flexed and stood up to that bitch and punched her in the fucking head and literally fucking was able to damage her and was and they were able to seal her because of Sakura's final blow. But yeah, sure, absolutely sure that yeah, so much more fucking chakra makes an absolute fucking difference. You know, and father's like this motherfucker is arguing against the whole chat right now. You know, my like, damn fucking straight. Okay, I ain't I ain't the stupid one here. You know, you, you guys. You know, I, I don't I don't know who you think you are, but I, I am very stubborn and I ain't the one. You know, unless you're six swag or Seth, then yeah, you're more likely gonna fuck me up debating wise. Okay, but no, you ain't that. Get the fuck out of here. You know. What's it called? And then Anthony M's like, wait, Jugo buffs Sasuke and Sage KCM2. Naruto slammed a big bullshit attack into Jubido and it did nothing. How is Sasuke alone supposed to beat him? 
I don't know where he got that. I said Sasuke alone could beat him, but okay. And I'm like, but that's the point. What character in Naruto would be the strongest with the Boruto era time skip? Meaning they get more experience, training, etc. He's like, what version of Naruto did you watch and read? Like, I'm stupid. And then I'm like, Sakura and Kakashi are excellent examples. And then Father's like, Naruto and Sasuke. Um, and then, oh, he's still saying Naruto and Sasuke would still be the strongest, which, no. No, 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 no. Okay? I've clearly said many, 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 many reasons backing up with evidence why that would not be the case. And Big Flash Monkey is like, aside from Team 7 and Kage, probably 3-Eyed Madara, because he's the strongest after them. Of course, it's Kishimoto was writing it and had kept Itachi alive for the time state. He'd obviously have Itachi still contend with these uh, uh, level threats in respect for the character. That's just self-evident. Thank you. Okay? And then, so he's, you know, he's actually, you know, siding with me now. And then I'm like, also, Pim Pim Koji even says that he was created to kill Jigen. Okay? Which is a very good clarification to bring up. That is important. You can debate that it is. And that it does have some, you know, significant meaning to the debate. And then Father is like, no, Koji thought he was created to kill Isashiki. Big difference. That's even, that's even, that supports me even fucking more. Shiki's way more powerful than Jigen. Okay? And Pim Pim's like, doesn't mean he scales to him. I'm like, yes and no, but... Once again, why would Koji be, you know, flexing and, and talking all that shit and then beating him with the sage fire if he couldn't? He backs his words up. He doesn't, he's not all talk, okay? And he's like, he got his ass handed to him in the manga, and I'm pretty sure. I'm like, and even if he did, I'm, anime shows him beating him with sage fire and everything and, and being on equal ground, but okay, sure. And then... Big Flash Monkey, uh, he was like, Pain was meant to capture Nine Tails and still failed. Okay. That is different. You're right. Words don't mean anything to actions do. His actions prove that. Koji's actions prove it otherwise. You know, like, what What does that even mean? You know? Are you stupid? And then I'm like, if Boruto Sakura could beat Madara, then yes. Satachi could potentially beat Jigen, etc. He's like, your purpose doesn't dictate your power. I'm like, oh my god, no one's fucking saying that, bro. You know, and I'm like, and then I'm like, Swag, Seth, and Six understand that perfectly too. He's like, this dude has to be getting off to being wrong. Um, so Pippin's saying that I'm just now, I'm, I'm getting like horny from, be, from being wrong. I'm like, I don't know what, he, what he's on right now. Um, and then, and he's like, not really. And then Six is like, stop pinging me because I have been doing it a lot lately. So he, he's like, hey, chill out with that. You know, I'm like, all right, my bad. Um, and then... And then uh, Ryzen's like, people just be just be pinging Six when everyone knows Six isn't going to agree with him. Um, and then Ryzen's like, ban him, okay, with the, the death thing. Like, he, like, he's some fucking, you know, threat or, or if I'm being so wrong or so bad. You know, like, the, the, he's worse than Kabuki now at this point. He's so defenseless. He's so garbage at debating that literally he's saying to ban me because of how stupid I'm making him feel, Okay. And then and six is like, why? What's he doing? And I'm like, I'm not doing anything. And then and then uh and then uh Big Flash is like Jigen would still mop Itachi, and then six is like cap. He's like, no. So he he'd literally be funny and saying, No, that's not the fucking case. And I'm like, I'm debating. And and then Big Flash is like, if they aren't even willing to respect Naruto and Sasuke, what makes you think Itachi's gonna get better treatment? You know, and I'm like, sure you have a point. You know, I get you on that, but and then Rising's like, he's been making the same dumbass argument forever now, laugh mass of, and he keeps pinging you. So that's why he's saying to ban me. And then Big Flash Monkey is like, you're right, you're right. Jigen don't got a, a Mankyo shotting gun, talking more shit to me. I'm like, Rising, what have you said? You know, he's like, bruh. And then Six is like, what argument? And then Rising's like, all my points went through, you know. And I'm like, you have been trolling the whole time. And, and then Payne's like, you are actually a troll, though. Am um, I trying to start shit the whole time and no? And then he was like, I was arguing with this man. And if and he said, if Itachi lived, he would surpass adult Sasuke. Okay. And then father, uh, father is like, Kakashi is greater than Koji. Itachi and Boruto would be stronger than Sasuke, etc. Okay. And then and then he's like, I am debating and saying shit that actually makes sense. And then Ryzen's like, no, it does not. Because he's, once again, his brain is just too fucking small to comprehend anything. Okay. And then... Pippin's like, not really, okay? You know, so uh, now he's kind of like going on my side. And then Rising's like, everyone can read the messages, you know? And they're all thinking, all right? 
And then Q's like, what the fuck? And then he's like, I'm asked at this shit and you still got clapped. I'm like, bitch, you didn't fucking clap shit. You clap, fuck, you clap men's cheeks, okay? You don't clap nothing, all right? I don't, know, I don't know who you are, all right? And then Six, is now he's being funny. He's like, I mean, he's literally about to side with me now. I'm, I'm so, I, I can't tell you how much of a fucking smile this put on my face. I'm like, if Sakura can beat Madara during Boruto, Itachi could potentially be character like Jigen. Done. Over. And he's like, bro, this shit goofy as fuck. And then Father's like, bro, even since Sasuke has stage mode, like, stop. I'm like, this fucking guy. And then, and then Rising's like, no. And then Big Flash's like, but even if Itachi's greater than Del Sase, why does that matter to Itachi greater than Jigen than when Sasuke got his ass beat by Jigen? So once again, he doesn't fucking listen. It's the fact that Itachi can get stronger than Sasuke and Jigen. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He has that capability and potential. Um, and then I'm like, he has the intelligence and can get powerful too. And then Big Flash Money is like, it doesn't go anywhere. And then, and then Six is like, why can't Itachi catch up to Sasuke? Question mark. I'm like, thank you. You know, I'm like, Akashi and Sasuke are excellent examples. And then Rising, he's like, because he wouldn't have six paths. So not, six path doesn't mean fucking shit. Okay. And then, and then Spiral's like, no, Laugh a Itachi himself says Sasuke would surpass him. And then I'm like, are you fucking dumb? And then Six actually responded to me for once. He's like, no, they aren't. So apparently he's saying Kakashi and Sasuke aren't excellent examples. So I don't know if he means that like they're not perfect examples, but they're decent, you know, whatever. Or if he just doesn't agree with that at all and has his own reasoning why. But regardless, that's the one thing he did disagree with me. Um, he didn't explain why, though. And then Pippin's like, Rising, you're misrepresenting us. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, I thank you, Pippin. Thank you for saying that this guy is retarded. He is retarded. Okay. All right. And then literally Anthony is like, I mean, how is Hitachi supposed to match the six paths buff Sasuke got though? Being another retard. And it rises like, and you yourself, so Sasuke should be relevant to Kage by himself now. Okay. Okay. I'm like, there's many people that don't have six paths. Does Sakura need six paths to be Madara? No. Okay. Madara is just like not relevant though. I'm like, uh, Madara had Sage of Six Pass, Ten Tail fucking Judiki. What are you talking about? You know? And then and then Kaguya. She damaged Kaguya. Okay. And then and then Six is like I said he would be Kaguya, but okay. You know? And then Ryan P is like, what is the argument? And I'm like, like rising, you don't prove anything. You just say shit. Women's like, it's not his opening statement we disagree with. It's all of his arguments, you know. So apparently uh, he's just saying most things that, he, that is disagreed with me, but he at least agrees with my opening statement, okay. And then Father's like, Madara isn't strong at all compared to Boruto Sasuke, okay. And and then he's like, I don't see an issue with Itachi suppressing Sasuke if he lived. Thank you. Done. Done. Over with. The moment Sis finally just came out with, with his, you know, opinion, done. Simple, done, okay? It, that's it, you know? And then uh, Anthony's like, uh, Anth uh, Anthony is like, it's a bit of a gap is all I'm saying. Could he possibly get there? Sure, you know? And then I'm like, thank you, Six, thank you. And Big Flash, like, like Itachi could be comparable to Sasuke during the Boruto era if he was alive. I'm like, oh, so now everyone wants to agree with me. Now, and I'm like, I'm not crazy. And then Ryzen's like, no, you are. And then Big Flash is like, and I honestly like that. And then Pippin's like, sorry, sorry for trash. I'm new to debating. So what I meant by that is, obviously, I'm not perfect at fucking debating. I don't know every fucking thing, rule, or benefit, or disadvantage, or advantage when it comes to debating. I don't do that shit for a living. I don't get paid to do that either, Okay. But I'm going to tell you right now, I, I know damn well I am more than capable of, of being able to debate in Naruto, at least. I'm not fucking stupid, you know? And I may not be a perfect debater, but I'm pretty fucking good with my knowledge when it comes to Naruto, okay? You know? And at least I'm right, you know? And even Pippin did and said uh, Rising was representing them um, in a bad way, which he fucking is. I don't even know why he's in this chat. And Big Flash Monkey is like, it's just that you're, you're trying to definitely scale him there. And it's like, bruh. And then I'm like, not perfect, but you at least see what I'm trying to say, you know? And then um, and six replied to someone, I don't know. 
And then, and then he's like, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Still got a favor. So many memories of Bitfox. So now Rising is saying, I'm, uh, I'm right. Now he's finally admitting it. Yeah, he was talking all that shit. And then Anthony uh, is like, instead of time shenanigans, can we just have EPS where they all go to alternate timelines and see adult Ta- Itachi or something? You know, and then Big Flash Monkey is like, we really uh, want a What If series for Naruto instead of Boruto. He's like, I'd rather have a What If series than Boruto. And I'm like, that we can definitely all agree on. And then... Uh, and then Pippin's like, or maybe Naruto should put in. And then I'm like, wait, Pippin, remember base Jiraiya somehow not getting completely destroyed by that one guy? He's like, who, what, huh? And I talked about the whole, you know, time arc and all that and blah, blah, blah. And that was kind of proving more to my, you know, my whole argument and et cetera, you know? And then, uh, and that's basically what that's all about. I'm not going to get into that. And then basically what they say is like, oh yeah, poison's pretty fucking OP. Like if poison can, can impact Ususuki members, you know, alien people. So it's a whole other fucking level. And I'm like, eh, I don't know about all, everyone, but sure, I guess, whatever, you know. To me, that is debatable, but, you know, and I threw out there, I'm like, so what, Sasori S- solos all the fucking Ususuki clan then? You know, and they're like, yeah, poison's that strong. I'm like, yeah, no, you know, no. Um, anyways. But that's how basically all that was. Um, the only reason why I mentioned that it was just basically to prove my point even more that you know basically, you know, you know it's it's been shown many many times in anime you know that you don't have to be six pass level in order to contend with them you know. Um, And then that's basically all they're talking about, yada yada. And I'm like, anyway, because we're sidetracking now, I'm beating around the bush. I strongly believe Itachi can be stronger than most characters in Boruto. With enough training, being prime healthy, growing in potential, learning more amps, etc. He could be a serious threat and a great ass protector in the village. Anthony is like, see, I think he needs a um, fuck ton of chakra to use, to use perfect, since we've only seen... And Edo and Prime Alive Madara use it. Um, no. EMS Sasuke was able... Actually, no. It was six past EMS Sasuke was able to use a perfect Susano. But regardless, you know, I, I'm pretty sure Itachi would be able to pull it off anyways. Like, regardless, all of them start off with certain forms of Susano, And then eventually it's clearly shown that it can be done to get to perfect. If Sasuke can fucking do it... Atachi can fucking do it. Don't don't start with that. I'm like, that's all I'm saying. And then Pippin's like, and you're right. You know, I'm like, thank you. And I'm like, I am I think he would be the strongest if he got to that point. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. I'm like, and then I say thank you to Pippin, you know? He's like, well, since he's an Uzumaki, he probably got all the chakra issue covered, you know. And I'm like, fuck you, Rising. I had I had to do that in the end. I had to. I fucking hated him, you know. And then Big Flash Monkey was like, I wouldn't mind seeing Nagato have like a dark red Susano or something, you know? And then and then and then I come in like being just adding a little bit more salt to the wound. I'm like, ban him, you know, quotations worse than Kabuki, to be honest. How low can you fucking get? You know? And then Um and other than that, that's basically it, I think. I, I don't think there's any yeah, and then everyone else just starts talking about other shit. And then Basically, you know, we talk about more things, yada, 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 whatever, blah, blah, and that's basically it, okay? Um, but anyways, you know, my whole thing with everything at the end of the fucking day, bottom line is, no matter what, with everything I just covered and said towards the end, Tachi could definitely pull it off. I do believe he would be the strongest at that point in time, and... If you guys think otherwise, or if you, I don't know, have a difference in opinion, let me know in the comments down below why you think someone else would be stronger, or whatever the case may be, or why not, or what you disagree with. Let me know. You can write fucking paragraphs, whatever. Just fucking let me know. Or better yet, join the Discord of Six. His Discord is in his channel. I'll make sure to put his channel in the description, um, and you guys can check his channel out. Definitely give him a, a subscribe and. Uh, check out his videos. He makes amazing fucking content. Most content that I agree with. You know, yada, yada, yada. And he also has a Discord channel that's open to anyone to be able to debate, talk about Naruto, anything anything in general. Okay? And you can go on that Discord and debate me or talk to me if you want. Um, or you can go to my Discord. I'll put my Discord uh, in the in the link down below. Um, a direct link to mine and also a direct... Um, actually, I won't do that for six. You know, I feel like I'm out of place to do that. But I will... 
I at least put six his uh YouTube channel um uh in the link down below. So um, but other than that, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I, I know this video is more than likely pretty fucking lengthy, so I do apologize. But I did really think this video would be pretty fucking entertaining with, you know, basically just doing an overview of the entire fucking debate. Um, and it's no, never gonna, again going to be nowhere this long unless somehow it does get, get this long. Because generally the next time I have to debate someone like this, and it's going to be like pretty lengthy debate, I'm just going to do voice chat debate. I, I'm not going to fucking be typing all that shit all over again. And, and then just to try to make a YouTube video and cover all that, eh, I don't want to really do that. I want to make a YouTube video. I'd rather talk about why I think what I think and show all the feats, examples, scans, and so on and so forth and provide the evidence and then just make that the video. You know, kind of like what Swag Kage do, Seth, Six, you know, just videos like that. I'm not really going to do another video uh, reacting and going over an entire debate conversation I had on a Discord because, you know, it's just going to take too long. It's too much. You know, unless it's voice, you know, and it's not too long, sure. You know, or if it's, uh, you know, or if it's me doing a video on something related to Naruto, who I think is strong or whatnot, whatever, that's what I'll do. But other than that, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below. Like I said, subscribe for more content. Subscribe if you love the channel. I'm, I'm, big, I'm no big. I'm no nobody, whatever. I got about 37 subscribers. But, you know, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy making content. I enjoy playing video games. I enjoy reacting to things. One of my two passions is Batman and Naruto, which is why I'm even doing this video to begin with. You know, so regardless, that's all it is. Batman's out. Peace, guys.